Importing a set piece can easily be done from the Set Pieces tab on the Settings page by tapping Import. And from here, simply select the image you'd like to import into your production. Here we've selected a bed unit that was cropped from the scenic designer's plans. By tapping Open, that will import it into, into the production as its own object. You'll just simply give it a name and give it its own dimensions. And when you're done, you simply hit Save. And that will save it as its own individual object that can be utilized throughout your production. And here it is cataloged into the list of set pieces that you've created and you can preview it at any time. The other option is to create your own set piece by tapping create. When you do, this box pops up where you can edit your own. By using the shapes and tools in this box, you can draw your own. Let's say we're going to create a palette here. And so I'm going to drag this square, which will represent our palette. Let's say it's uh, 10 feet by 10 feet. So notice it starts at 0, 0 and goes up to 10 feet. And you can choose from any of the pre-programmed standard set pieces that come with the software. For this, let's grab a single bed. Grabbing it by that arrow, I can resize it to its correct dimension. And I can also angle it. I can move it 10 degrees at a time or 1 degree at a time, either direction or back to 0 by tapping on here. Let's give it just a very small angle and drag it to its position here. I can choose any of these pieces. For this, let's also say there's going to be a double sink next to the bed, you can put it in its position, change the dimension, and put it where it needs to go. You can use any of the shapes and tools. Let's say, for example, this is going to have a curtain that runs across the back edge of the palette, so I drag that there. Now keep in mind you can edit any of these objects as well. You can change the color of them if you select, let's say we're going to change the color of this palette here, down here below in the edit bay I can change the border color for this, let's keep it nice and gray. I can also change the fill color to be a bright red, but this, for this, let's just keep it nice and open so I can read it. But anything you put on this on this grid will be saved as its own individual object. I'm going to move the curtain so it lies right within and move the bed down just a little bit more. And once you're happy with the way it looks, go up here, give it a name, and give it a dimension, and it will save it as its own individual object. Now this is a palette that's 10 by 10, so make sure that you give it the dimension that you want it to. Anything that's outside of the numbers you give will be cropped out of the object. Once you're happy with that, just hit Save, and that'll be saved into your catalog of set pieces to use for your production.